Yo, what's up guys? Today in this video, we're gonna be reacting to the story of Mongro and why he quit. And shout out to Aussie Antics for making this video. The other video that we did was right here. And it was uh, the one when we I reacted to like the whole story of me. Okay, am I gonna get an ego boost? Be honest. I got a million views on my second account. So clearly you guys are liking the reacting to, uh, you know, the stories of Mongro and, 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 and me and etc. So we're back and we are alone on this one. Cause I, like I said, last one I was alone and just vibing. So hopefully we can do the same on this one. And if you guys want to watch the video, it's from all the antics. You know, I have to give have to give credit where credit is due. Let's get into it. I live from 50 HP. Bro. I don't know why my girl. I, I, why did my girl quit? Bro. I'm lowering the volume real quick. Listen, I'm the only Fortnite player left. I don't understand. Like in, in the top, Benji fishy has gone. My girl's gone. All my homies are gone. Tifu's gone. When is it my <laughs> chat? How long do y'all think it go? is until I'm gone? Why do I think from Fortnite? God forbid. Back. To answer this, we need to go back to the very beginning. Kyle Mongrel Jackson has been playing games his entire life, playing games such as Halo and Call of Duty competitively when he was only nine years old. I didn't Even know that. At this early age, he showed incredible talent, topping many. I actually leaders. never watched this. It was at this time that the battle royale genre began taking the gaming world by storm, and Mongrel, already excelling, jumped into H1Z1 and later PUBG. I feel like everyone his started with as one the of the H1. most aggressive like Ninja. and dominant fraggers on any island. While in the early days of Fortnite, most players saw building as a bit of a novelty, throwing up a wall to block a few shots or building a one by one to camp in, Mongrel recognized its true potential. He began to change how people saw and played Fortnite. However, in the early days, this was often met with ridicule rather than respect. True. And in the beginning, many people actually made fun of Mongrel for how he played. I remember these days. Oh, Bro, Ghost Aiden. What the f man? My <laughs> 90s bot, man. Pros and viewers often said he was trying too hard and he was doing too much. A lot Everyone of says that sweats kill the game. Building and we made the as game. Much as he did was I'm a game for that. Chill. On Chill. Bots. Mongrel didn't care. He continued to hone his skills and quickly became one of the best builders in the game. He would Team upload Secret. highlights and stream all his games and very quickly began to gain a lot of attention. Oh my, oh, my, oh, my, oh my god! 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 I remember Jackson this. I remember so this. Fortnite that he's been signed to play with a team of professional gamers. Mongrel's reputation and subsequently his content was booming. By the end of 2018, he was averaging over 7,000 viewers on Twitch, pulling in millions of views with every YouTube video Damn. and created some of the most memorable content of early Fortnite. Oh, I miss an early Fortnite, bro. Oh! The one in viral clip. What a f in the end. Sing, sing, sing. This sing, one is the most viral. Sing, sing, sing. Oh my god, I remember their fucking airplanes. <laughs> hey, GG's, GGs man. Bro. Good fight, man. I really like having a balanced fight. GG. Everything was looking up for Mongrel. He began to become one of the most feared and respected players in the game. Those who originally made fun of him began to realize he was the future of Fortnite. True. This was before the days of cash cups and FNCS. He would upload videos of him dropping 30 and 40 bombs in public matches, as well as popping off in scrims. But how could you truly prove you were the best? There was one tournament every single week that had the entire community watching. It's World Cup, right? Friday, Fortnite. Oh A my 2v2 god. Kill race, and I remember no that I won with Booga, bro. Big games. Than mongrel. We gotta react to that. Dead! Yes! I got both kills. He's on me. I'm editing. Dead. I feel like I remember versus mongrel. I don't know. I killed one. No way. Not. Dead. Wait, how many did mongrel win? GG. There was, however, only one thing that could stop mongrel his age. At this oh, point yeah, in Fortnite, yeah. the competitive age limit was 16. 
He was only 13 going on 14, meaning mm. he could not compete in any of the skirmishes Dude. or official Fortnite I remember tournaments. having to deal with that. Left to continue grinding pub Me and Mongo are like actually like the same age tournies. Mongo and everything, bro. let this stop him. He would take any chance to prove he had what it took to be on top, often challenging the biggest pros to 1v1s. Who's he versing right now? Oh, that's yours? Bro, remember when everybody used to play Stretch? was waiting and even fearing the day when those players days. like Mongrel, Mr. Savage, Benji Fishy, and so many more It's just me. It's just me and Mr. Savage left, bro. And they didn't oh have to God. wait much longer. Not only would Fortnite announce they would be lowering the age limit to compete to 13, they would reveal the, the biggest Cup. online tournament in gaming history, the Fortnite World Cup. Don't bring me back, bro. I fought. I fought so bad. I, I mean, it was like, I, I still brought home like 200 racks, but like. Dead. Two dead, dead, dead. Oh my God. On the floor. <laughs> This was everything Mongrel had been waiting for. The chance to finally This was every was kid's dream, bro. Of the best. Oh and my god, dude. Long. Alongside Mitro, they would place second in the first week of duos, qualifying themselves straight to New York. Really? However, despite incredible duo placements in the qualifiers, Mongrel was struggling in solos. When the final week of solos came around, he had one final chance to make it. Wait, did he qual? A lot of people counting him out with one final game. He pulled off oh, one of did. the greatest clutches okay, in okay. Fortnite history. I thought he did. He's saying just ahead, just out of sight. Does the player see him? Yes, I don't knows. think so. The drop in. Gets the shot off and gets the oh, wait, elimination. I remember Marvel this. Literally putting people in the game. A clinic of why you need to pay attention what to what's going this? on. Everybody and he pads up, right? There's still four players left, including him. That oh is God. down. No way. Are you doing this right now, Margo? No way. Top three situation now. Gonna get Dude, the I missed one of the four that was so popping like this, bro. Well. Zuer's gonna go down in another one. Oh, my God. Oh, are you Stop. kidding me? He finally did it. The grind paid off. He was given his chance to compete and prove everyone who oh my God, we got the the doubted him wrong. But it wasn't over yet. Making it to World Cup was one thing. Now he had to try and win it. All the way above him, knocks the structure down, and the player does manage to catch himself and maintain the high ground positioning here. We have some great players still left in this game. But Mongrel with four eliminations and looking for number five. And that was on Nate. We're now down to the final moments. Top five monster. He has to fully commit. There. I remember this, bro. But he needs. He's still in the game here. He's gonna go all the way for it. Left to trade oh. Bro, this gets me these these chills, bro. Wait, did he win this? No, I don't think so. Very impressive Every time I watch it, get chills. in solos and sixth in duos made him the most consistent World Cup player across both game modes, taking home a clean $375,000. Damn. With World Cup over, a new era of competitive Fortnite would begin. The Fortnite Championship Series and a hey. switch from duos as the competitive the trios, game right? mode to trios. Yeah, yeah. Mongol and Mitro had no intention of splitting, so it was about finding a third player who could match their skill and passion. Enter Benji Fishy and the formation Benji. of one of the most legendary teams in Fortnite, MMB. No. Dead. Remember me, Tifu, and Sway, bro? Hey. Oh my god. No. Hey, not! No. UMP illusion, son! Dead! Not! Not! Nice! <laughs> this team would absolutely dominate Trio FNCS. Oh my god. Coming second, second, first, I remember and first this, dude. in the qualifiers. They were insane. Taking home over $100,000 they, they they right? each 
before the no, grand no, no, finals no. even started. With these incredible placements, the trio was the clear favorite to take home the four hundred. Remember, there was money in the qualifiers, bro. First place prize. Insane. However, the finals did not go to plan. Where did that kid just go? What? It's invisible. <laughs> Yo, I miss Fangro. The Mecha is invisible for me. Against the mechs, there was little even Mongrel, Mitro, and Benji could do, and they ended up placing 10th in the grand finals. No. Despite this disappointing finish in the finals, the trio live streaming every single tournament saw Mongrel's Twitch and YouTube explode, pulling in almost 30,000 average viewers in the month of Damn. September, peaking at over 75,000 viewers, all while his videos would pull in millions and millions of views. Dude, Fortnite was Mongrel would continue on this path of putting up solid placements. Yo, how do y'all think they could revive the game? Like, all right, obviously the views are still crazy. You know, everything's still doing good. Like my YouTube, my Twitch, they're all doing amazing, but it's like clearly not the same numbers as, you know, when Prime Fortnite, bro. Comment what you think they need to add to make it back to like that Prime. All while streaming and creating content on everything he played, placing second in squad FNCS, 15th in duo FNCS, and and 26th and 16th in solo FNCS. There had now been five FNCSs, and many people began to question Mongrel's position as one of the best players in the world as he was yet to win a championship. With the reintroduction of trios in chapter two, stop season saying that, bro. Four, many expected you can Mongrel, still be the best Mitro, if you don't win FNCS. And Benji to Trust. reform and Trust. run it back again this time claiming the crowns that were rightfully theirs. However, in a decision that shocked many, Mongrel and Mitro decided to pick up Taysen, the winner of solo FNCS, but a still relatively unknown face in the scene, as he did not even compete in the World Cup. The main reason for this pickup was the fact that Mongrel and Mitro having more than enough firepower needed an IGL a player to tell them what to do and bring a smarter and more controlled approach to the game. This made sense in theory, but in game, however... Dude, I remember this, bro. I would watch before my turn and so all the time, everyone, every time. Bro, Taser, we're not hearing many comments from the little IGL dude. I don't know what's going on. Oh, how are you guys doing, man? <laughs> what are you doing? I need some comms, though. No, no, we're not even saying anything. Yeah. Of course, you developed middles on. Sorry, we're not IGL, bro. Not IGL, sorry. Same. From these clips alone, you would think there is absolutely no chance that this trio would pull off one of the most memorable FNCS oh. wins ever. Dog, I need a win, bro. Like, my soul really did it all, bro. Now he's got some better, better things, has his own apartment. Fuck, man. Let's go! Mongrel, Mitro, and Taysen found themselves I remember the 1v3 in first clutch. place by over 60 points with only four games remaining. The grand final was all but over until Thomas HD, Anas, and Flick decided to change things up, switching their drop spot to begin contesting Mongrel's trio. This would be disastrous. The team would begin struggling, placing 32nd, 21st, and 31st in the next three games. Uh -oh. This would see their lead cut down to only 20 points going into the final game of the tournament. Wait, is this when Mongo clutched point, the craziest there was shit? only one team that could beat them. Janus, Andalex, and x -Sweezy. With a very good chance that if they go to Stark Industries and go down, they will lose their lead. They made a bold and incredibly controversial decision. They landed on Andalex's team, mm. knowing that if they lose this spawn fight, they will have thrown their tournament. That's this crazy. This right here, this engagement going down in sweaty sands, is going to this determine is a crazy the play. FNCS Trio's Grand Championship. It's going to be crazy. Luckily for them, their gamble pays off. Scared to take an all-out engagement on foreign territory, they instead managed to hold down Janus, Andalex, and x -Weezy, securing Mongrel's first ever FNCS Damn. win. Mongrel finally had his FNCS crown. He was one of the most popular creators on the game. What could go wrong? Sadly, after this FNCS win, Mongrel would struggle to continue this same level of domination. Really? Instead of battling for first, he would now struggle to even make the grand finals. He would also begin to stream and upload less and less, going entire months without posting any content. But why? What happened? 
One theory is that his insane mechanics and aggression was no longer enough. No. Fortnite competitive was progressing and you could no longer get by off sheer mechanics alone. This is supported by Taysen, who despite winning FNCS, instantly split with Mongrel and Mitro, going on to have the most decorated career of any player after the World that's Cup. That's true, that's true. While this might be the case, I would argue that this is due to a bigger reason, a lack of passion. Yeah. There is no reason Mongrel could not have applied agree, himself to VOD reviewing, working with coaches, and understanding the game as it progressed. He chose not to. His reasons for this were only left to guess. The diminishing prize pools, Fortnite removing many of the fun items. People have even argued it's because Fortnite removed the spaz. You have to remember, that might be why, at the honestly. end of Chapter 3, he was the best Mongol spaz had player. now been grinding the game almost every single day for over four years. He started playing seriously when he was 13 and was now approaching 18 years of age. He does have brief periods of returning full of motivation and optimism, but sadly, it rarely seems to last. It makes sense. His priorities shifted. After a long absence on social media, Mongrel began posting about his health, fitness, and travel journey. Yeah, big. While many supporters were happy to see Mongrel growing up, many wonder if he'll ever return to the game. While he's maintained a presence doing promotions for FaZe and playing in several smaller tournaments, at this point in time, it does not look like he will be returning to Fortnite. Yeah. As for what he's up to he currently, that. he just managed to make more than double his entire earnings in Fortnite in a single day when he was the overall winner of the that. Board Ape Yacht Club's most recent competition, Dookie Dash. Mongrel set the best run on the game, earning himself the key. Gaming is genetics, to tell me wrong, bro. 1,000 Ethereum, or 1.6 million US dollars. To put that into perspective, Mongrel's official earnings from Fortnite sits at just over 700,000 US dollars. While you could point to How this and say, have, oh, bro. that's why he quit, he doesn't need the money anymore, I nah. think anyone who has followed Mongrel's journey and career Not knows that it was never about the money. It was about competing. It was about winning. So where does that leave us now? Will Mongrel return to Fortnite? I would honestly say most likely, but will it be to compete and stream every tournament, uploading regular videos? Probably not. Yeah. I'm sure he will jump on for a new season or big update, but his last YouTube upload was February 1st, and he's only gone live hey, three times he's been uploading so far though. this year. He's been uploading. I could be wrong though. I roll life. Never I respect it, bro. I respect it. Post. He clearly has the talent and passion to make it happen. If Mongrel returns to competitive Fortnite, the community will welcome him back with open arms. He has created some of the most legendary content on the game and is undeniably one of the all-time greats. Damn, bro. It's over? I was locked into that, bro. No, that was that was actually a good video. The thing is, at the state of this game, bro, dude, there's no siphon right now. There's literally like tournaments are barely any money. Like it's $1,000 per win. And 1000 is a lot of money, right? But you gotta understand, from the tournaments a long time ago, bro, it's not as big. Like comp's not as popular. Fortnite's not as popular. But that was a good video. If you guys want more reacting to stories, let me know. It's been a month since we uploaded. That's just because I was locked in for FNCS and I had a lot of other shit. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bro.